So let's go back to um, regular uh, normal query and let's see how we can control the paging into limiting. So if we have a broad query like this, we're searching for all assets in them, uh, we got to get a lot of results. Um, so the total of 1,343. And by default, we have a page size of 10. So we'll see just the first 10 uh, results. So we can change the page size with the p.limit property. Let's make that five. So we only have five. Let's increase that to 30, and we see we got uh, a lot more with the query. Um, now, a typical problem is uh, when you do calculate the total result, if there's a lot of results, this can be very costly because the query has to run uh, through all uh, indexes or even sometimes traversing and this um, puts a lot of strain on the system. So it's always good to avoid that. And the query builder makes it easy by saying, uh, by having this p.guessTotal property. And you can just set it to two. That's kind of a simple approach, in which case it only counts the total on what's really necessary. In this case, just the 30 items you've been asking for. So it will tell you there's 30 and there's possibly more. And another way is, and it's probably the more common way to use it, is kind of to specify the maximum you want to count to. Let's say I always want to see at least 100. So when you specify that, you'll get uh, a total of 100 or more. If there are actually less results than 100, then you'll get an exact number. So for example, if we increase that to uh, 1,000, but we see there's even more. If we go to 10,000, oops, we see the exact result because it's less than 10,000. So let's uh, go back to 100. And um, if you want to kind of uh, show the second page that's very easy to do um, by specifying the um, offset. Let's go back to 10 um, items per page and the offset, if you don't specify it, it's zero, you start at the start, but if you want to do paging, you specify the number of items you want to skip. And for your second page, you basically start at 10. And so we get the next 10 we could increase that by 10 and we always would get the next results. And you see the total calculation is kind of separate from this because um, uh, one is kind of getting a certain number of results, the other one is counting how many there are.